Alright, so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to make this uh, material here and ultimately what this is is just a simple brick material but it has all the different maps on there and so what we're going to be doing is you'll notice here that uh, this was all downloaded from uh, freepbr.com and they have a ton of textures that you can try this out with so ultimately this is a couple of different textures um, initially it's the albedo uh, which is the flattened uh, texture map here it is the AO map, which is the shadows, not the texture. Then we've got the height map here, and we have got a metallic map, and then we have got a normal map here, and then this is what the end texture should be roughly like. And then we've got a roughness map here, and that's the last of the textures. And so what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be making our own map. So I'm just gonna move this stuff off here, and we're gonna recreate this map and show you how to do it now in order to get this work i do have arnold lighting and in order to do that you just simply go to lights and i did a physical sky and, and did that so i'm going to just create a simple sphere so that you can see kind of around it like so just gonna kind of zoom in like so you can see they're a little bit overlapping but that's okay i have got this material here and the first thing we need to do is create that material and put it in there so the easiest way to find this stuff is sometimes just hit tab. And so I'm just gonna hit tab and then standard surface, AI standard surface, drop that in there and then select my mesh, right click, zoom in here, right click and assign viewport to selection. So this is my, should be assigned, just make sure, there we go. So that's assigned and that's the, the base material. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna start putting in some of these maps in different ways. And the easiest way to do things is we are going to kind of start laying things down. Now, first things first, to put an AO map in here with a texture, you cannot, like there's no slot for it. So what you need to do is you need to make a, a slot that basically works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a multiply layer. And that is AI multiply. We're gonna tap that in there and we're going to literally just drag that and put that in base color. So then we can click on our multiply and we can just simply click here, go file. And we are going to go into the image name and we are going into the desktop. I'm just gonna grab it from this texture. So I'm gonna grab the Albedo PNG here, and that's going to be our first texture, and it's going to look something like that. I'm going to go back into my multiply, and I'm going to add number two, which is another file, and then I'm going to add in that file, I'm going to add the same thing, scroll down here, and we're going to add the, the AO texture right here, so simply like that. So that's going to give us the, the AO texture and that's going to be fine. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add, we've got a roughness map. So I'm going to just go to specular file and then add a roughness map in here. Again, same thing. And there we go. That's our roughness map. And you'll notice that once you add that in there, it'll get rid of some of the shiny. We also have a metallic map. So again, go back to the regular map here, go back into metal and go into file. And we gonna go into And then the, that is my PNG for that. Now there's really nothing gonna change on here. It's gonna kind of make it a little bit muted. So this is perfectly fine. And then what we got is we got a couple of different things. So here, let's do the normal map first. So here I'm going to go into the normal map camera. Another way to add textures is simply grab the file you want. So this file here, and I can literally drag and drop in there like so. So that's another way to do things. We can go here, we can scroll over like so. Now, the problem is when you apply this regular map to, so if I just try and put this to a normal color, 
you'll notice that it really doesn't do much. Okay, that's because you need another map in here. So again, tab, and you need a normal, normal AI map, bam. And we are going to just simply go into and put it into input here. And we're gonna go into and put that in the normal map camera. So you'll notice that that works a little bit better that way. All right, so in this, you can actually change it, what kind of map it is. So if it's tangent space or if we need it inverted, we can always kind of work on that. The next thing is, and this is where your in-depth textures come from, is ultimately we're gonna to go to this, which is a standard surface shader. We're gonna go here, file. Uh, it's gonna add a displacement shader here, like so. And then we're gonna have our file here. So basically, we've got our displacement, we've got this. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go into my desktop again and scroll down to my fast list of files. And we are gonna add in a height map. So that's our height map right there. And you'll notice that is basically like so. Now, the big thing is to clean this up. So in here, you've got all these kind of materials going on and they're doing all these place textures. So we do not need these place textures repeated like that because if I decide I wanna tile something, I have to tile every single one of these. So instead, I'm going to grab these, move this out here. I'm gonna grab this and put that out there. And so, here is my layers of shading, if you will. So all of these I'm gonna delete and I'm gonna hold control down and I'm gonna grab middle mouse button, press and drag it over here and it's going to assign all of these connections. So if you look at the connections, that's all these connections. We don't wanna manually sign those. We're just going to do that like so. So basically, control middle click and like so so just make sure you get up near the top of the title otherwise it just will say no that's not going to happen and so now with this idea in mind just minimize that with this idea in mind i can take this texture tile it four by four and there is basically our uv map now we can also go into the regular surface here and we can play around with the weights. So we can control like the, the specular level of it. We can control the roughness of it and things like that. Um, we can also go in and control IORs, which is how much of uh, the index of reflection is. And there's a great website for that. So I will put the links for the two websites that you can get the IORs and the maps. And if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this helps you out. All right, if you like it, subscribe. Have a good day.